Mr. Colin Don, sir. I have good news. What is it, Simon? Well, you see, sir, our spies have discovered the latest secret location in King Sting's hideout. It's written on this card they found in the pocket of one of his henchmen they killed. King Sting's secret hideout, eh? So where is a slippery snake hiding this time? Well, last time he set up a secret hideout, he was in our basement. I mean, his hiding spot was so poorly chosen, I didn't even see him. Good day to you, sirs. The card says Area 5, but the rest is smudged out. Hmm, obviously a messy writer. I don't know how some people got their handwriting license at school. What do you think it is, sir? There's only one Area 5, and that's Area 51, a likely hiding place for a villain so treacherous, so cunning, and so evil. Sammy, I want you to bring me Harry. What for, sir? We're going to be paying King Sting a surprise visit, one that he's not going to be expecting. Here we are, Harry. Area 51. Look over there, Harry. King Sting has really tightened up security since we last met. Oh, look at there. They have big guns. Of course they have guns, Harry. What did you expect them to arm themselves with? Balloons? Well, back in Alabama, them guards who were protecting cattle had pitchforks. No one dared go near. This is not Alabama, Harry. This is King Sting's top secret headquarters. Now, I'm just thinking of a way to get past those guards. Hey, Paul, it's a sewer pipe that must lead to inside. I bet if we crawl through... The Don don't like sewage, Harry. This sewer has not been dry cleaned in ten years, and I intend to keep it that way. It looks like I'm going to have to use my bargaining skills I picked up at the black market on those pesky guards. Oh, okay then. I'm not very good at haggling. Last time I was haggling, I was trying to buy a sheep from the market. Uh, Betty was her name. She was priced at $9.95. I managed to haggle the price to $250 and a head of lettuce. Fine, take the sewers in, Harry. Go wait around with poop up to your neck. But then don't get dirty if he can help it. Okay, Paul. I'll meet you inside. Hello there, gentlemen. It is such a lovely day. Piss off. I'm fine and fit, thank you, good sir. So, how much is a ticket to enter your establishment? If your ass isn't 500 kilometers away from here in five seconds, I'll donate your kidneys to my grandmother. I'll have $50 to enter. Five. But to visit a place like this with nice buildings and unique electric fences. Four. I must pay at least 100 then. Three. Oh, I guess it is in good condition. Maybe 350 Two. Hmm, I am ripping you off, I suppose. I want about $5,000 to enter, my good sir. Two and a half. You drive a hard bargain, sir. $15,000, take it or leave it. Two and a quarter. Very well, I will give you 50. One. Thousand. 70,000 and you're in. 60,000. Half a second. 62,000 in cash. Done. Oh, I need to use a bank, of course, to withdraw. Oh, there's one inside for you, sir. Mmm, convenience. Golly! Hello and welcome to Area 51's Secret Entrance Five Star Restaurant. Uh, table for one, I believe. Uh, yes, please. Right this way, sir. Just follow me. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much. Table 51, down the back. Wow. You have 51 tables? In Area 51's secret entrance, sir, every table is numbered 51. Right, you frosted clubs of fruitcake. I want you to tell me where King Sting is. Oh, blast. Maybe I was a bit too hard. Right, don't move. Get your hands up. I want to know where King Sting is. Whoops, uh, forget it. I'll just find him myself.
Can I take your order, good sir? Ooh, big selection. I think I'll have the 51 layers of lasagna, the Area 51 size steak, and the 50-year-old wine, thanks. Like King Sting is concealing his henchmen as werewolves. Smart, but not smart enough. Gee, I wonder where Harry is. I love your accent. Oh golly, thanks. <clears throat> Can you say badges with my banjo for me, darling? Sure thing, ma'am. Golly, a banjo's got my banjo. Hi, you're so sweet. Well, Harry, it looks like I'm going to have to come to your rescue yet again. You redneck in distress. There you are, Harry. I've been looking everywhere for you. Now listen up. King Sting has gone to extreme measures to conceal his motives. He's dressing his goons up as werewolves and his bedroom is harder to find than usual. Well, what are you two? Now, I wonder where this tunnel leads. Oh, Harry, stop that. It's your fault you wanted to walk around in the sewer. Harry, get away from me! I'm warning you, Mac. <laughs> Sorry, Harry, but as you know, I don't hesitate to shoot. Sheesh, I hope this teaches you a lesson. Oh gosh, you girls dance really well. Ah, light switch. Your claws don't scare me. You may want to consider trimming your nails. In the afterlife. <laughs> oh, it's times like these I wish I never trade weapons for fruit. Let's see if I remember how to use this thing from the scouts. You'll never catch me alive! So we win this time, Kingsting. I'll be back. I think I'm done here for the day. Gosh, how much is all this gonna cost? I only got two balls of wool and three corn stalks. Well, for you, sir, it's all on the house since you've been a really good customer. We rarely get southerners down here. Oh gosh, thank you so much. Would you like our personal pilots to take you home, sir? Oh wow, I've never been on a helicopter before. Well, here's your chance, sir. I should come down here more often. Uh, home sweet home. There's nothing like the peaceful Melbourne serenity. Wait a second. This doesn't look like Melbourne. Hey, Sammy. Harry, I'm so glad you're back. Where's Mr. Connaughton? Mr. Khan, sir, what on earth happened to you? Never mind my mess, Sammy. King Sting may have defeated me this time, but I will return. And when I do, him and his werewolf goons better rule the day he ruined the dunce suit. Hey, Paul, I told you you should have taken the sewers. Harry, my boy, 
I thought I shot you dead. Well, you wouldn't believe it, but I went to heaven today, Paul. It was the darndest thing. Well, I hope you'll learn your lesson. Now, not to worry, my suit may have been shredded and broken, but my spirit is not. He may have his henchmen dressed up as monsters, but... Come on, sir. There's something I gotta tell you. What is it, Sammy? Well, you see, sir, we wiped off some of the smudging on the card. And we saw that King Stink's hideout isn't Area 51 after all. It's Area 52.25. So the wolf was not... Ah... Uh...